in front of the eye. The sclerotic layer forms cornea. This is a transparent structure and allows the light to pass inside. This is covered outside by thin transparent protective coat called conjunctiva. This is protected and lubricated by the secretions of lacrimal glands. The choroid layer is thin over the posterior two-thirds of the eyeball, but it becomes thick in the anterior part to form ciliary body. The ciliary body itself continues forward to form a pigmented and opaque structure called the iris, which is visible colored portion of the eye. Iris is circular diaphragm-like structure. A central aperture called pupil is present in the iris. This aperture allows light to enter the inner chamber of the eye. The size of the iris and pupil are adjustable. The diameter of the pupil is regulated by the muscle fibers of iris. In darkness, the pupil expands and the aperture becomes larger. This allows maximum amount of light to pass through the pupil. When the light is bright, the pupil contracts and the aperture becomes small in size so that less light passes through. Action of iris and pupil are comparable to the action of diaphragm in a camera. Color of the eye is determined by the color of the iris. Iris has a pigment which imparts black, brown and blue color to the eyes of the individuals. Behind the iris is the lens. This is also called crystalline lens. It is transparent and focuses on the light. It is helped in position by muscles called ciliary muscles. Contraction and relaxation of muscles changes the size, diameter and focusing of the lens. Because of this capacity, we are able to see far and near objects clearly without delay. In front of the lens is a small chamber called aqueous chamber. This is filled with a watery jelly called aqueous humor. This fluid along with cornea acts as an additional focusing device for the eye. The main chamber of the eye is the inner chamber called vitreous chamber. This is filled with dense jelly-like material called vitreous humor. Retina is the innermost layer and is actually sensory part of the eye. Cells in retina are minute and are tightly packed. Each eye has 14 crores of these cells. These are two kinds of cells in the retina. They are called rods and cones. These cells also differ in their structure, composition and function. Rods are more in number than cones and the ratio of rods to cones is 15 to 1. Rods have reddish pigment called rhodopsin or visual purple. When light falls on retina, this pigment decomposes and reforms immediately. For the formation of rhodopsin, vitamin A is essential. Vitamin A deficiency causes certain defects in vision. The rods have the capacity to sense even very dull light, but they cannot distinguish one color from the other. This is the reason why in dark night, all colors of an object appear to be the same in different tones of gray. Cones have different pigments. They help us to distinguish blue, green and red colors and also the entire range of colors in between the colors. They function better in bright light. 